Cedars 三奶医院精神科医生 Anna Salt 指出，少数族裔对心理保健服务的接触很低，源自于文化上的社会污名或刻板印象，都可能阻碍心理健康治疗。举例来说，蜥蜴社区中的刻板印象认为，女性容易情绪化。经常焦虑或神经质，而男性发脾气或易怒则很正常。虽然一些医生有时也会接受这类观点，然而这也可能是被忽视的心理疾病病症。People belonging to minorities are less likely to receive mental health care. Of the people with mental illness, 48% of white people receive mental health services, whereas only 30% of blacks and Hispanics receive mental health services. And a very low number of Asian population receive services at 22 percent. 有鉴于此 ，Anna Salt 医生特别公开探讨心理健康服务及少数族裔面临的障碍，以及如何获得帮助。The most helpful thing to do is to educate them. Many people believe that some symptoms of mental illness are normal. You know, it's normal for you to be dramatic, and it's normal for you to be upset. And it's normal for you to try to calm your feelings with alcohol or other substances. So educating people about mental illness and、um, letting them know that no, this is not something that you could just get over on your own. That you need an evaluation, you need a diagnosis, you need. You may need medication or therapy.、Um, I think that's very important, and this is achieved through education. 此外。为了提供更好的服务，西达塞奈医学中心也开展了各种倡议和计划，以增加少数族裔患者的心理健康意识。If someone is in crisis, calling 911 or the suicide prevention and crisis lifeline, which is now 988, that is what people are supposed to do if they are in crisis. If it's not really urgent,、um, I suggest that people. Ask for a referral through their primary care physician. There's also online resources like NAMI, or the National Institute of Mental Health, or the California government web pages that provide mental health services. 强调心理健康是个人与家庭的重要组成部分。医生 Anna Salt 提醒，通过教育，消除刻板印象和社会偏见。以及增加心理健康服务网，将能帮助更多少数族裔获得完善的心理健康治疗。东森新闻团队洛杉矶报道。